Recently, I've been having this dream. I'm in a swimming pool, completely submerged in water. Instead of a bathing suit, I'm wearing a long dress and the skirt moves in elegant slow motion as my hair rises in the same way. My chin leans slowly upward and I can see the distorted lights above me, swirling in circles on the surface. The pool is too big. I'm alone. It's quiet. There's no pressure on my ears. My eyes don't burn from chlorine and I can hold my breath without feeling as if my chest is going to collapse. I close my eyes, deciding that it's time my pruned skin met the air again. However, as I begin to ascend from these watery depths, something grabs the skirt of my dress. Sometimes it gets caught on the bottom of the pool. Sometimes there's a hand that reaches upward and grabs me. But most times I can't see what's keeping me from returning. And suddenly my throat burns. I need to inhale and taste the damp air on my tongue. I need to fill my lungs like a balloon, but all I can do is tangle in the skirt of my seemingly elegant dress. Engulfed in greens and blues, I'm trapped. Then I wake up. Always. Just like that. Right before I go under for good. But nothing changes when I leave the pool. Not really because I'm still trapped. I thought about the love I'm all about the You ready, kid? That's all over, B. Let's go. Hey, so how's your mom? Same as always. You know, if things ever got really bad, you can always crash at my place, right? Jesus, really? Ooh, a sleepover with a boy. I'm trying to be serious here, Joes. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thanks, but um, I don't, I don't really think that'll be necessary. So, who's gonna be at this good-natured get-together anyway? A few upperclassmen. <laughs> and the occasional awkward sophomore boy. Ah, uh, yes. The ones whose voices still crack. So innocent. So pure. So drunk off of one beer. <laughs> <laughs> Noah! What's up? Hey, bruh. I'm gonna go deal with Luke and I'll catch you up in a bit. Whatever, bruh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I, I wasn't, but no, I didn't want to come alone, so. Well, I'm glad you came. Me too. Lila, Neil's here, let's go! Sing me a dance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, I drink. Yeah. You went in there? Um, I'll be out in a sec. Alright. Josie! Uh, hey. hey! Can I uh, get you a beer? Maybe we could go upstairs. Um, Miles, I. Thanks! No thanks, actually. Um, so I guess. Um, have, have fun in there. Um, uh, I'll see you. Okay. Uh, bye! Uh, 
some prestigious university, huh? Ugh, don't remind me. <laughs> I'm gonna need you in my lecture halls. Right. Who is gonna be my sarcastic, jaded companion? <laughs> um, you know, I think you should put out an ad on Craigslist. Already did. Yeah? I got a 45-year-old male named Hector, Oh. <laughs> whose major is Lithuanian poetry. Okay, sounds like an acceptable replacement. I'm Ooh. sure he'll be perfect. Look, um, you want to get out of here? Yeah, um, well, we can't go to my house if that's okay. Uh, we can't go to mine either. My grandma's in town this weekend. Hey, uh huh. I'll make this work. How about we, we go? Um... Joyce. Oh, hey, Lila. Oh, Joyce, we really gotta get going. I gotta get home. Okay, I'll be right. <laughs> oh, no, give me the keys. Jose, I'm fine. Come on, you drank. Give me the keys, come on. Oh, captain, my captain. Uh. What? Turn it around. Mm -hmm. Did it pass? You passed. You're not drunk. <laughs> Thank you for dragging me out to this gathering of responsible young adults. You know, you can crash here tonight if you really want to. Noah, I don't need you always assuming that everything's a mess all the time, okay? Things are kind of a mess, aren't they, Jose? You know, it's really not your place to say anything about my life. Jose. Come on, where are you going? Good night, Noah. Jose, I'm sorry. Josie! <laughs> Mike, is that you? I'm here, Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mom, it's just me. Hi, oh, baby. I leave the door open. I have a feeling Mike's coming over tonight. He's not coming, okay? Don't do that. Yes, he is. He loves me. He doesn't. He loves me. Dad left us, Mom. He's not coming Don't back. say that! Go get 
you to call her up. I'm at your house. Open the window. Said I could come over if things got bad, right? Things got pretty bad.
What's wrong? Wanna come with me? I'm getting out of here. Hold on. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Okay. Ready? Definitely. Come on. On, champ we had this much more to go shut up <laughs> shut up why don't you make yourself comfortable okay oh no yeah maybe this was a good idea <laughs> Ooh. you know i really don't think i've exerted that much physical energy since like freshman gym oh no that was a dark dark time dark time for me, especially. I went through my emo phase freshman year. Do you remember that? Ooh, do I remember that? <laughs> that was not cute for you. <laughs> oh, excuse me? I'm just saying. You also went through your emo phase. Yeah, but there's a difference because, like, I looked cute. <laughs> With your, like, black side bangs, you straightened your hair all year. God. So, what'd you bring? You know, um, essentials. You want to pull them out? I could. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. Good, get ready. I am ready. Uh, the essentials? Yeah. Smoke attack bomb is an essential. It's fine, come on. Skittles. Fireworks. We need to eat, and the 4th of July is, like, tomorrow. I was being festive. You know what? Let me live, okay? I won't fight against this one. Issues because I have allergies. <sighs> this is really nice. This is different. It's peaceful. Earlier tonight, there were so many stars. So I was, I was thinking about all the people that could look up at the sky and have a wish for, like... A thousand of them. That's crazy, because, I mean, I can't do that. I only have one. But there's some things that even the stars aren't powerful enough to fix. But, um, look at you. I mean, you've got it all. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Your parents are still together. You've got the grades. You're top of the class. You, Noah, are going to get into whatever school you apply to this year. I know it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure there's something I don't have. No. I mean, I'd like your life. I, I would. You're lucky. You're one of those lucky people. You got it. Noah! It's a truck. Hey! I'm never taking my mom for granted again. What are you doing? Yeah, let's ask the crazy truck driver if he could take two kids. I was wondering if maybe you could give us a ride to the campground up the road. It's just like a few miles. I'm friends with crazy people. 
Sitting in the backseat of your mother's car There was forests on the way there You ain't all the way there Sent some complex signals to the others on the road I was sending all the mind beams No one ever found me Is there a world for things we had in the day? Is there a sound of the things we found on our way? Calling out the names of all the animals There were mountains on the way that you read all the way that Numbers getting smaller and the spirits getting low I was sending all the mind beams, no one ever found me Is there a word for things? We had in the day Is there a sound For the thing we found On our way Okay, obviously I wouldn't want to marry either of them, but... I'd totally sleep with Miss Holland. Okay, that's obvious. Okay, I'd marry I'd marry Kramer and then mm-hmm. kill Alan. I was not happy with my grades last semester. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your uh, turn. Okay. Um, I got a good one. Okay. All right. Eli? Hmm. Kyle? Hmm. Or Miles. Uh, <laughs> I kill all of them, okay? Hey, that's not fair. You have to pick. Um, uh, I, I kill Miles. Like, that's a given. Naturally. Um, wait, but if I'm, if I marry Eli, do I still have to, like, leave with him? Or... Do you want your marriage to last? Noah! Uh, hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That actually hurts. Oh, no, but you're not allowed to throw the red ones because those are the best. Okay, like, you're wrong. Obviously, green ones are the best. Are you kidding me? 
this is a joke, right? There's no point in even fighting you this. Dude, okay. I bet you if you asked, like, 100 people what their favorite Skittle was, they would probably be, like, 85 saying green. Oh, really? Yeah. Really. Well. It's about... When we get out of here, we will ask the first 100 people what their favorite Skittle is. Fine. If I win... I won't tell anyone that you chose to marry Eli. Hmm. And if I lose? Um. I'm <clears throat> sorry. No. I, yeah, it was just kind of, in, it was intense. Um. You want me to leave? No, I could... stop. Stay. Talk about it. I don't know. Um, probably. Okay. Well, <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for a while. Well, uh, you're a great friend. It's just great. <laughs> I like I like somebody else. Okay, like a lot. Do I know him? Her. Oh. Yeah. Do I know her? Yeah, but she doesn't even go to high school anymore, so I don't know what's gonna happen. It's just it's like It's Lila, isn't it? How did you know? Oh, I'll save the next dance for you. Oh. Okay, ah. shut up. That is not how I talk. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you, like, care if we go to bed now? Kind of tired. No, yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> hey. I wanted to tell you, I kind of have a surprise for you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Just because it's like the 4th of July and everything. No, and I just... uh, you don't have to do anything. No, I, I know, but I wanted to. Well, okay, thanks. Well, we should. <laughs> yeah. Sleep, yeah. Yeah, bedtime. Be bedtime, gotcha. <laughs> I'm lucky to have you, Noah. I'm sorry I kissed you. Sorry that your favorite Skittles are red. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. We never got a chance to dance together. Right. Next time, for sure. Pinky promise? Uh, so, senior year, oh, yeah. that's intense. I guess, um, but you're be the little fish in some prestigious university, huh? Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> I'm gonna need you in my lecture halls. Right. Who is gonna be my sarcastic, jaded companion? Noah? Hey Josie, come to join the party? Miles and Reed, okay. Um, why are you here? Noah invited us. Noah, Noah invited you guys? Yeah girl, for the 4th of July, come on, we're having a big party. Um, like, is it okay if you guys don't drink, I mean, like, you can be here, I guess. Oh, but... come on, come on, Josie. It's the 4th of July. Have a beer. I, I'm good, Miles. Thanks. Um, sure. yeah. 
Okay, I, Noah, like, <laughs> where are you? Come on. Is this a joke? Seriously? Um. You guys, I found the perfect place for fireworks today. What the hell? Drop. Surprise, happy fourth. Why are they here? I went into town to get more sparklers because we were out. I ran into them. Is that cool? Cool? They're drunk. It's not even 2 p.m. and they both smell like beer. I mean, like... Relax, Josie. It's the 4th of July. Come on, have a drink. Yeah, really. We're not an Alcoholics Anonymous. <sighs> okay, um... I'm done. Jost! Why would you say that? Josie! I'm sorry, he shouldn't have said those things to you. He shouldn't have said those things? How about you shouldn't have invited them? I can't believe that you did that. I mean, they're everything that I'm trying to run away from. Why? Well, pretty soon you're going to have to stop running and catch a breath. Then what? Tell me, Noah. And then what? Am I just supposed to stand here and smile? Well, everything falls apart around me. That's what I've been doing my whole life. I cannot do this forever. I cannot deal with that forever. You're going to have to start confronting your problems, Josie. You know, it's fine. Get away. Go into the woods. But what's eating at you is still going to be there when you get back to your life. What life, Noah? The life where my mom is drunk all the time? Where I had to be both of my parents? I'm always alone. Because my mom chose alcohol over her own daughter, okay? And no one deserves that. No one deserves that life. And it's as hell isn't mine anymore, so I don't need you lecturing me. But I guess it's easy to give advice when you're the blessed Noah Abrams, okay. isn't it? You're right. I don't know what you're going through. But we all have problems, Jos. What problems do you have? This trip is temporary. It's not forever. It can't be. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Why don't you tell me all about your problems, Noah? I'm waiting to hear them. My parents are splitting! Are you even surprised? Because you're so caught up in yourself all the time. It's Just like... leave! You've got to face your problems, Joe. Because pretty soon your legs are going to give out from running this much. Happy fourth. I think I must have broken my ankle before I'd even taken off. I'd been running this relay race by myself for far too long, never able to pass the baton once it started to weigh me down. Right from the start, some roots found my feet and my face found some earth and before I knew it I was covered in dirt and my ankle was twisted off my I kept running anyway past schools and parks and tiny suburban houses as lightning strikes shot up my calf and thunder blossomed in the grass. Storms were brewing like hazelnut coffee on Monday mornings. Every step felt like rough rain on a tin roof, but I continued to move as if nothing hurt, as if blood and dirt weren't caked in the bottoms of my shoes. Finally, I strayed from the track and found trees in my path and thought to myself, hey, this is where I'd rather be with the meadows and forests and flowing streams collapsing in a bed of grass, I wanted to believe that paradise would fix things. But paradise isn't really paradise when your ankle's broken and there are no bandages to make you better. I ran away from first aid kits, from disinfectant, from cartoon covered band-aids, from healing kisses. I dragged myself away from the place I needed but problems won't magically mend themselves after you leave them to rot. 
Leaving something behind does not guarantee that it will get better. And your ankle won't heal if you keep adding pressure. Hi again. Hi, how you doing? I'm okay. Good. Where's your friend again? Um, he's actually back home, and I'm trying to get there too. You need a ride? Yes, please. Jump him back. Thanks. All the little things They make a mess of my Must be starving. <laughs> you don't remember the last time we got takeout from here? It was probably before I started high school, <laughs> I think. Listen, Josie. I'm sorry. Huh? No, Josie, listen. This is long overdue. I'm sorry about the other day. I'm sorry about the last decade. I'm sorry that I wasn't the mother that you need. The mother that you deserve. Well, I mean... I'm sorry that I was never there for you. I'm sorry about everything. But no matter how hard I want to or how hard we both try. We can't change what happened. But I'm starting to realize that being honest changes things. There's a lot of things I didn't want to admit. That your father was never coming back. It's really hard to raise a kid on your own. That I'm, I'm powerless around drinks. I'm basically a coward about everything. I'm an alcoholic, Josie. I know it sounds stupid to say it out loud because you've known it for a long while. I went to a meeting this morning. And I realized that I needed to admit that I had a problem. 
and that nobody deserves an apology more than you. There's no excuse for what I've done. But I'm, I'm really glad you're here having dinner with me. Went to a meeting? Yeah. <laughs> I know it took me a while. And I'm still the same person. But I'm ready to change. I'm going to do it for myself. And also for you. I'm glad you're doing this for yourself. <laughs> I'm really proud of you, Mom. I know this sounds cheesy, but I'm here for you forever. Mm. You've got this. You've got this. <laughs> I promise. I promise. All right, all right. Enough with the cheesy, mushy mother talk. <laughs> I want to hear about your adventure. But first, I promise me you'll never do that again. I promise. Oh boy. Well, it really wasn't much of an adventure. I'm glad I'm home. <laughs> me too. Okay, I must have called you about 10,000 times. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I just had to get away for a little bit, but I'm back now. Well, did you find everything you were looking for on your little getaway? <laughs> Not even. You'd think that running away would create space between you and all your baggage, but all it really does is force you to lug all those emotionally charged suitcases to a new setting. Before you know it, all of your unnecessary clothes and extra shoes are everywhere, and to everything you tried to escape in the first place is surrounding you again. I guess the art of escaping is really only like a state of mind. You know, you're kind of cute when you get all philosophical. Oh yeah? Wait. Wait. What? We never got to have that dance. And we are getting this over with right now. Right now? Right now. Okay. <laughs> Bro! Bro! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
You want to go in? Um, sure. Come on, sure. Well, I felt fine with you there to be aligned with you there. I follow the lines through your hair, and I will form to you. Again. <laughs> Follow the lines through 